go a bit wider. Thomas, thank you for your time this morning. Uh, obviously, two weeks ago, we, uh, you hosted the uh, sort of Belgian Open. Um, on reflection, how uh, successful do you feel the event was alongside a top 10 for yourself? I thought it was very, very successful. Um, just watching all the fans that, that um, attended the whole tournament had a, had a good good vibe to it. So I was, um, I was very happy and I think the, the promoters were uh, really, really happy. Um, uh, you took four weeks off before that, after the Masters. Um, is that something you're looking to kind of do across the year in terms of like breaking your schedule and is there a sort of plan in this approach? Um, yeah, I do like taking a, a longer break just so I can, um, I've got the hunger to come back um, and I can work on stuff as well. I think, you know, when you do these three, four week stretches, your swing kind of deteriorates when you, when you play in the wind and all that stuff. And um, it's nice to kind of just hit the reset button and, um, and start fresh. Obviously, coming into this event off the USPGA, uh, tough for everyone, certainly over the weekend. But what positives can you take and how do you feel coming into this week at the Dutch Open? Um, I didn't find many positives over the weekend. It was just really tough and that course just kept knocking you. So um, I, I just needed a couple of days at home to, to kind of um, rest a bit. And um, I'm, I'm ready for this week. I know this, this course inside out. So um, I'm, I'm looking for a good week. Um, as a former winner of this event, I think it was your second win in 2015, what are your memories of that and how did that win kind of you know, you know, launch your career to the player you are today? Uh, 2015 was it? 2015. It's a long time ago. Um, it was definitely amazing just to, um, to win two times that quickly. Um, just kind of solidified that first one that wasn't a, a fluke. So it's, um, yeah, I've got, I've got amazing memories of, of winning in... Um, in 2015, and um, hopefully we can we can add one uh, one more here. You were tied ninth uh, at this course sort of last year. Um, what are your memories of, of this course, and uh, you know what makes it so special? Uh, the fact that I, I I'm kind of I'm semi attached here. I practice here a lot uh, when I'm at home. I love this course. I think it's a it's a great great new golf course as well. Um, they've done a, an amazing job. The facilities are are out of this world um, and yeah I had a good showing last year I, I remember kind of finishing badly on on Saturday and Thursday so I kind of threw a couple of shots away but um, yeah it's, a, it's definitely a low scoring week. Um, obviously you may not have been around the course you know yet having arrived today but obviously a new course as you say 2018 it was what are you kind of expecting with another year's growth and development for this track this week? Um, I think the greens will be a lot firmer um, like you said another another year of, um, of maturing this course um, and just a bit of wind. Looks like last year was no wind and it looks like there's going to be a bit of wind this week so that's going to play a bit tougher. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time this morning and best of luck. No worries, thank you.